Welcome back to another episode of Reviewing Games. Today we're going to be talking about shooters on the Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn Japan. There's a lot more shooters on the Sega Saturn, so let's start off with the first game, Assault Suit Linus 2. This is an unusual shooter as it is a mech guy. You control a mech robot uh, and you have thrusters for limited flight. You have machine guns and some rockets. And you just want to take out all the enemies on your radar and watch out for the good guys helping you. This was an interesting one as I ran out of ammo and could not find out how to continue fighting. Moving on to the next game, Bulk Slash. Sergeant First Class reporting. I'm here to help, Chris. Straight ahead. To the rear. With this one, it's kind of a third person perspective. And the gimmick in this one is you can transform your plane into a robot and vice versa. So you can go back and forth between robot mode or ship mode. And you want to navigate the skies and the ground, eliminating aerial and ground targets, such as tanks and rocket launchers and all kinds of things shooting at you. And you just want to continue doing that and make your way to that boss at the end of the level. Picking up a bogey. Mass is extremely large. Right. Ah! 
salute you. Moving on to the next game, Cotton Boomerang. Magical Night Dreams, Cotton Boomerang. Here you get to choose three characters. What's interesting about this is that when your first character dies, your second character will come in and you can now you control that character. As with other cotton games, beautifully painted backgrounds and detailed cute art sprites for the characters and enemies as you make your way to that boss at the end of the level. And this guy looks familiar. Moving on to the next game, Geki Rendan Time Travel Shooting. This one's pretty cool. Starts off where you get to choose from three different characters, each with a different ship and a different weapon loadout. Once things start running, it's a pretty cool vertically scrolling shooter. You can upgrade your shot and power-ups, and you have a really cool death bomb with like a skull face in there that really messes things up. And you just want to make your way to that boss at the end of the level. What's interesting about the boss after you beat it, he kind of gets sucked into this wormhole and I think he's going back in time and you follow him in there and now you're fighting back in the past. <laughs> Moving on to the next game, Skullfang.
You get to choose from, I believe, three different planes, and then you can choose which pilot you want to choose. You want them to fly it as you rush off to fight into battle. Of course, this is a vertically scrolling shooter and you have your standard shot and you have which you can upgrade to missiles and all kinds of different weapons. You can also lock on to uh, modules that increase your firepower as you make your way to that boss at the end of the level. Next game is Steam Hearts. よし。ブロー。本気で勝てると思ってるの。ファラ、僕たちがやらなければ。これは反逆よ。たった一人でウエスティナ中のみんなを敵に回してしまうのよ。一人じゃない。君にも手伝ってほしい。Steam Hearts is a vertically scrolling shooter with a lot of anime FMV cutscenes. There's a lot of talking between you and the female other character in her ship. みんなが Welcome, Lazo. Fight waves of incoming enemies, upgrading your weaponry and your attack power as you launch missiles to the ground defenses and take out cannons and enemy ships flying at you as you make your way to that boss at the end of the level. Ah, <laughs> Harming laser. System is injured. Cellular connection from the defense of the weapon. Device. What's interesting about this, though, is after you beat this boss, I'm not entirely sure I can show everything, but, and I, I'm not, I, and I don't really understand, because I don't speak Japanese, what's going on, 
but I believe that there is some porn in here after you beat the boss. And I'll show one or two screenshots. And the last game we looked at was Steam Hearts for the Sega Saturn. There's a lot of great shooters on Sega Saturn. Most of them are left in Japan. There are more Sega Saturn shooters, and we will probably do a part four to this at some point in the future. Just want to say thank you everyone for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.